Hi, this is JP from Not Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Arkham Horror LCG playthrough video, and we are continuing the Cyclopean Foundation's fan made campaign playthrough with Daryl Simmons. We are in the third scenario, Private Lives, and last time we got five experience from the previous scenario to upgrade our deck. So, first off, let's see what kinds of upgrades I did to the deck. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamCDB.com and uh, five experience uh, I used to upgrade the other uh, Dr. William T. Mailsom to uh, level 2. So now both of them are upgraded, so we don't risk of drawing the uh, zero version anymore. Then I added two sharp visions to the deck. These are really good in Daryl because Daryl has a high base in select. So with these, you are bound to get an additional clue you on most occasions. And last card I upgraded was Gumption, which is a newer card from the Scarlet Keys Investigator expansion. Uh, it works really well with some of the other cards I have in my deck, uh, especially uh, those shed a light cards that if you are investigating with us uh, with a test difficulty of zero this lowers a test, test difficulty to minus two difficulty so you could with the addition of some other things even get the tests uh, from four to zero so that would automatically succeed etc so I'm thinking of getting the other one once I get the one more experience and to make room of course I removed the other Dr. William T. Mailson zero version and one idol Xanatos because I haven't played this yet and seems like I usually have at least some evidence so the Ruined fill won't hit me that hard, but of course now that I say it, it will come back to bite me. Uh, then uh, I removed two end of the roads. Uh, I really like the idea of this deck, but usually I I think this is a bit too slow of a card, even as a fast card, because uh, well, you can only play this at the end of the scenario, and that might be already too late. So I'm I'm getting rid of those to make room for other things but those are the changes I made to the deck so let's back, uh, hop back over to the scenario okay and uh, we are set up here so first off we have uh, laid out the map here so we start at the entry hall we have living room servants quarters second floor hallway drafting room and master bedroom so First off, let's read the story so far, or the scenario intro. So, scenario 3, Private Lives. Though the rain subsided while you were at the auction, the late night air is still damp and free, frigid. Your mind dwells in the many possible configurations with Wycliffe as you march briskly toward his estate in French Hill. It's difficult to predict conversations with a man that you know so little about. James Whitecliffe isn't even a native of Arkham, having moved here from out of state several years ago. You believe him to be a retired architect from Pennsylvania. From what the articles about his earlier expeditions stated, but it is clear that he is something more than that. The one thing that is certain is that he knows the truth about these strange events tonight. Wycliffe's manner slowly comes into view as you round the corner to his street. Its design straddles the line between compliance with the French Hill aesthetics and the flair of modern Art Deco architecture, designed by Wycliffe himself. Your appreciation is understandably minimal as you tread the garden path up to the front door. You seize the brass knocker, intending to wake the whole household, if needed be, but the door swings open limply at first touch. The questions that had been perlocating in your mind all night evaporate in a flash. 
There's just uh, there, just beyond the mantel, in the dim light of the street lamp behind you, lies the body of James Whitecliffe. His face is frozen in a mask of terror, and it is clear from the bloodied holes in his evening jacket that his death was anything but natural. You stand in stunned silence until a creak from the upper floor echoes down at you. Whoever murdered Whitecliffe is still here, but but why? Your mind races through the facts until you arrive at a single new objective. Whitecliffe may be dead, but the answers to your questions must still be somewhere within his mansion. Whether the murder, murderers want to learn the truth for themselves or simply destroy it, you had certainly better find it before they do. The murderers seem to know plenty about Whitecliffe, but you still need to make up lost ground. You begin at once with the corpse. At first the body seems bare of anything but clothes, until a glint from the street lamp reflects off uh, Whitecliffe's fingers. A silver ring etched with strange symbols shines up at you. And, uh, anything unusual could be instrumental in unraveling this mystery, and so you pocket the ring before beginning your search of the manor in full. And if it's not clear yet, there are story spoilers throughout, so be warned. So I will be reading all the story text. So let's read the agenda. Active Crime Scene version 2. So because we had four notice, we have to have uh, the version 2 in play. Otherwise we would have the Active Crime Scene version 1. The assassins are still somewhere in the manor, but just who are they? They seem to be the same group that robbed the Abanians, but if they're not working for Wycliffe, then for whom? Whatever secrets Wycliffe knew, they clearly don't want to be discovered by others, which makes your mission that much more important now, the Doom Threshold is 6. Obituary in progress. Somewhere in Wycliffe's manor lie the secrets to the Mykenean expedition that you, your own exp employment to fi find the missing ship net, and your own employment to find the missing ship net. Objective, if at least five of the following are true, the investigators may choose to advance. The investigators studied the architecture, read the new clippings, searched the secret room, found Wycliffe's wallet, uh, read Wycliffe's journal, and uh, retrieved Wycliffe's letter. In your camp log, the investigators interviewed the broker. So, we already have done the investigators interviewed the broker. So, now we just need four more things or more, but we'll see. So, that is basically everything. Um, without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to start. One thing I forgot to say that uh, we start uh, the game with Whitecliffe's ring in our hand as an extra coin. So I have that here. So we might as well read it. So uh, it is a two cost asset with the intellect, combat, and wild icon. Item charm traded. Your, you get plus two maximum hand size. Encounter cards do not count towards your maximum hand size. Uh, when an encounter card is added to the hand of an investigator at your location, exhaust Whitecliffe's ring, draw a card. And it takes up some an accessory slot. Okay, so uh, let's start by drawing our opening hand of five cards. And uh, we get fine clothes, uh, persuasion, deduction, Hawkeye folding camera. We redraw the day of reckoning and research notes. So I'm keeping Hawkeye folding camera. I'll keep the deduction because there's two clues at our location. I'll keep the persuasion so we have a way to get rid of. I, I don't think we are parling uh, anything with the enemies in this scenario. So, and uh, because we have the Hawkeye folding camera research notes are not that necessary. So, we'll draw two more cards. Nice. We get Burning the Midnight Oil and Dr. William T. Mailson. So, that is actually our. Pretty good hand. We have an ally, we have a, a Hawkeye folding camera, and we have some uh, enemy management and uh, clue acceleration. So 
let's just shuffle this mulligan cards back into our deck and start going here. So, first off we'll play Dr. William T. Nelson, the Hawkeye folding camera. And last thing we do is uh, investigate, and I will use the burning the midnight oil to make the investigation, so we can two resources. Then I'll commit the deduction. So we are investigating six versus three. Cultist is a minus two. If a conspirator enemy is at your location, lose one resource. Well, there are none, so we get these two clues. And that is our turn. Then we get one evidence onto the Hawkeye for camera. And that is our turn, so we'll draw a card. We get result for finally for the first time in the whole campaign. And we get a resource, so that is the first round. Uh, let's go to the, well, let's not just yet go to the next round. So, I forgot to read the entry hall. It is a three-star location with two clues. Action resign. You leave before the assailant can turn their full attention towards you. There's a free trigger ability here. If there are no clues on entry hall, read evidence one under the scenario inter interlude. White cliffs evidence in the campaign guide. So, we actually can read that immediately now before we go to the next round. So, evidence one. You take several minutes to study the ornate arches in the entryway. The design are both intricate and intriguing. A far cry from the generic engravings you see on almost butter, on most buttresses on this, of this kind. Odd symbols and images resembling except Excerpts from occult tomes adorn every inch of the stonework, though you do not recognize many of them. What reason did Whitecliffe have to include these designs? Remember that you studied the architecture. So now we have two things done. So I'll actually start keeping count of them, marking them like so. So we have two uh, things done, but yeah. That is everything, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a Doom. The encounter card for this round is... Cleaner. So, Humanoid Conspirator, Hidden Peril. Revelation, secretly add this card to your hand. If you are at a location with a shroud value of 3 or less, spawn Cleaner at your location. Uh, that's an action. Forced at the end of the round, if cleaner is in your hand, reveal it and it attacks you from your hand. Um, I think I can get rid of it with persuasion. So uh, it is a book test of three. This test gets plus one difficulty where access the enemy's horror value. It is one. So. Uh, it will be a uh, test of four, but we have the white lift ring, and I think I can just commit that. Or, um, yeah, it's uh, not on or against an encounter card. It is, we are testing on persuasion, so the result won't help. I think um, we are not dropping a clue with uh, William T. Melson for this one guy. So we add this guy to our hand. First action, we will just spawn it at our location. Second action, we will pers use Persuasion to get rid of this guy. And we'll commit the White Cliffs Ring to this test. <coughs> so we are testing uh, 5, 6, 7 versus 4. It is a tablet and it is uh, two minus four instead. If your location is non Euclidean, uh, our location is not non Euclidean. So we get to shuffle this guy back into the encounter deck. Yeah. 
So, persuasion. <laughs> we just told this guy to go, go away. We don't need you here. So we'll shuffle that guy back here. That means it can come back, but at least it's not our problem this turn. Next, I think I will head upstairs. So we'll move to the second floor hallway. Uh, second floor hallway is a force round, one clue, non-Euclidean, shuffle a non-weakness card from your hand back into your deck. Okay. And there's a uh, victory point one here, so that's good. Well, that is our whole turn. Uh, yeah, Daryl's Kodak added one evidence onto that guy, but we shoveled that back into the deck, so didn't get it. But that is our turn. No enemies so will get another grizzled and we get a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom. Encounter card for this round is Warp uh, Stonework. Revelation. If there is no copy of Warp Stonework attached to your location, attach Warp Stonework to your location. Otherwise, Warp Stonework gains search. That's location against non-Euclidean. Instead, take one damage or one horror, choose one, and move directly to a location that is not connected to the attached location. Uh, okay, action. Choose and discard a card from your hand. Discard Warp Stonework. Well, first action. We'll discard Grizzle to discard this, because that just makes it hard, because... All of these are connected except this one, and I don't want to go there just yet. Second action, we will investigate, and we will investigate uh, five versus four. Minus two, if a conspirator enemy is at the location, lose one resource. There are none, but we still fail. Oh yeah. I did a stupid thing. I, I'll take Baxis, <laughs> so we'll get rid of that as our last action. So, because now we have uh, one evidence on it. Then uh, we'll try to investigate again, and I'll commit. Yeah, I'll save the crystal. So I'm uh, again trying five versus uh, five versus four to investigate. And skull, skull is X is the number of revealed locations with no clues on them, maximum 4, so it is 1, so we succeed. We'll get this clue, we get an evidence onto the Hawkeye for the camera, we'll get this evidence onto the Kodak, and last action we'll get rid of this one. Okay, now we have uh, are starting to accumulate resources, so uh, we discard this for to discard this. Okay, and that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw wing it and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom. Encounter card is corruption, uh, corrupting influence, strain, peril hidden, revelation. Secretly add this card into your hand. The force when a cultist or uh, elder thing token is revealed during a test performing. Performed by any investigator, choose one that uh, test automatically uh, fails, then discard corrupt, corrupting influence strain revelation uh, or reveal corrupting influence strain and take one horror. Okay. Well, it is in our hand, we can't do anything about it at the moment. Hmm. Okay, well, let's move to the drafting room. So we have to shuffle one of these cards. So I'll shuffle the result because we want to have a winging it ready if, if we need to investigate the highest route location. Oh yeah, and now uh, we have two evidence on Hawkeye holding camera. So we have plus one to our willpower and plus one to an inter intellect. So, we'll move to the drafting room. 
and the drafting room is a three shroud location with two clues. If you have 12 or more cards in your hand, read evidence two under scenario interlude whitelist evidence in the campaign guide. Action spend any amount of clues, draw two cards for each clue spent. So I'm thinking uh, we could draw a ton of clues here and do that. So we'll see. First off, we will play winging it. So we are investigating uh, six versus two. Minus three, we'll grab one clue. We'll play winging it again from our discard as our last action. Plus one, uh, we get this clue, and this is also a victory point location, and the winging it goes back into our deck. And uh, that is our turn, no enemies, we'll go to upkeep, we draw, oh yeah, uh, we get one more evidence onto the Hawkeye for camera. So we draw research notes and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom and counter card for this round is Ab Abyssal Visions. Put Abyssal Visions in the play in your threat area. Pause when you would reveal a chaos token for a test you are performing. Reveal an additional token and cancel the token with the highest modifier. The Autopel token is considered to be the lowest, lower than they than each other token. Limit one spell test force at the end of the round. Discard abyssal visions. Uh, okay, well, I think we are not doing a skill test this round. We are just going to do an action. Oh yeah, we'll put. Uh, evidence over here. So will you spend one, two, three, four, five. So we draw, uh, spend any amount of clues, draw two cards for each clue spent. So we draw ten cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We get Inquiring Mind, Idol of Xanatos, Occult Invocation, Hawkeye Folding Camera, Winging It, Shed a Light, Reset notes, old keyring, track shoes, and result. Well, ain't that lucky we didn't even hit a uh, weakness, so we have 12 cards in hand. So, uh, if you have 12 or more cards in your hand, uh, read evidence 2 under the scenario interlude, whitelist evidence. Okay, so evidence 2. Among the mountain of papers, you uncover a small stack of newspaper excerpts. The articles concern topics that you, yourself, that you yourself would normally investigate. Many are reports of cult activities from various newspapers around the world. Photographs of profane idols and claims of dark influence fill each page. Where still are the stories of mysterious deaths from those even tangentially connected to these events of oh, tough word there. Wycliffe was meticulously examined the articles highlighting several passages and even the, that bear some resemblance to the trials you face tonight, particularly those concerning ancient ruins. While fish creatures and a malevolent deity whose followers call it Cthulhu, the papers here show that Wycliffe was by no means a cultist, rather someone who had discovered this grim reality by mistake. Remember that you read the news clippings. Okay, so now we have done three tasks on this, so we still need two more at least. Okay, then I think I will start playing something or uh, Okay, so I'll play Track Shoes. 
and I'll play old keyring. And that is my whole turn. So uh, no enemies will go to upkeep, so this at the end of the round will go away. And we have to draw a card, we get persuasion and get a resource, but then we have to drop down to eight cards. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we need to get rid of uh, five cards. So research notes. Uh, the idol is too expensive at the moment. The other Hawkeye, we don't have a slot for that. We can discard winging it and play it from this card, so that's easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh no, uh, we don't need to. Uh, hmm. I'll keep the idol just in case. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's that's enough. And uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a do. Encounter card to this round is Arsonist. Spawn furthest location from all investigators. Force at the start of the enemy phase. If Arsonist is ready, you must choose one each investigator at Arsonist location. Discard an item as a T or C controls or takes one direct damage. Place one Doom on Arsonist. Well, farthest location is uh, one. Two, three, one, two, three, one. Okay, so this is the father's location. I think we just need to ignore this guy for now. Or we could go one, two, and blast it with uh, occult invocation. We don't have the resources, so let's forget about that. So, first action, we'll move to the master bedroom. And master bedroom is also connected here, so... The master bedroom, three shroud, one clue. If there are no clues on master bedroom, remember that you found a strange ornament. And the fast trigger ability investigator of the master bedroom spent four clues per investigator as a group. Read evidence four under the scenario interlude white cliffs evidence. Okay, so we need to go find more clues. But first, oh yeah, we need to put some keys here. So I'm actually thinking of speeding this up by not investigating here. We can always double back here later. So I'll just investigate. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. Yeah, I'll commit the research notes. So I am six versus three. Uh, seven versus three because of the Hawkeye uh, holding camera. Elder sign. I'll put one evidence onto the Hawkeye folding camera. We'll grab this clue, and if there are no clues, we remember that we uh, found a strange ornament. Okay, so that is not one of the tasks, but I think we need that for something else. Uh, last action, we'll move to second floor hallway, and at the start of the enemy phase, if Austin is ready, uh, yeah, we have to place a doom on this guy, but uh, we are advancing next round al already, so that doesn't matter. So that is that round, we uh, draw a sharp wizard and gain a resource, so that is that round, let's go to the next round. So we add a doom, so the agenda advances.
Uh, cleaning house. All at once a great commotion sounds from the front of the house. Men in dark suits file inside with weapons drawn and other tools at hand. They spread throughout the manor with driven purpose, working to erase everything you're working toward. Your interference has become a priority problem to these men. Put the set aside TikTok men in play next to the agenda deck. Shuffle the encounter discard pile back into the encounter deck. So we get the TikTok men, and because we had four evidence, we get the version you're on their time. Uh, four combat, uh, I mean three combat, four health, and three evade. Humanoid, conspirator, elite, massive. Uh, TikTok men are considered to be at each rebel location forced after you defeat TikTok men flip them over and resolve the text on their other side So we actually could try to defeat these guys and they have an evidence on them because they are an enemy And let's read the burn notice uh, these additional agents have sped up your sh uh, schedule considerably if you don't deal with them as, and soon, then they'll uh, quickly erase everything you worked to discover, if not yourself. Of course, at the end of the round, if TikTok men are at the location with any amount of clues on it, place one doom on TikTok men. Action as a group, place uh, one clues on your location, remove one doom from TikTok men. Okay, well, I think we'll just uh, kill them this round at that. That will be that. So, <clears throat> we still need to draw on it. Oh yeah, we need to shuffle these back into the encounter deck. Okay, so we draw... Fixer, Hunter, Retaliated. If there is a countermeasure treachery in play that matches the class of an investigator at Fixer's location, Fixer gets plus one fight and alert. I am dropping my clue using uh, Dr. William T. Mailson and drawing a second card. And we gladly take the counter effort and discard this guy. So, uh, we, uh, because we had four notice, we had to put this threat. Uh, Treachery into the counter deck, so a Revelation put counter effort into play next to the agenda deck Forced after the survivor investigator fails a test that investigator loses an action An action place two cards from your discard pile the, on the bottom of your deck Place one resource on counter uh, effort from the token back Only survivor investigators may take this action Okay, And it searches so we get uh, impossible perspective Test willpower 3. If you fail, take one horror and put impossible perspective into play in your threat area. Your maximum hand size is reduced by 2. Forced after you discard 2 or more cards during upkeep, discard impossible perspective. So we are, uh, and that is a paradox, and we have humanoid, hazard, and paradox. So I'm playing uh, Grizzled for this test. And uh, we are. Uh, 3 6 versus 3 for this test now. Minus 2, so we pass, so that is okay. First action, we will play Occult Invocation. I will discard Shedalite, uh, Idol of Xanatos, and Inquiry, no. Sharp vision to the test. So we are hitting. So we get plus one intellect and plus one damage for each card discarded. So we are fighting with intellect. So six. 7, 8, 9, verse 3, and dealing for, uh, up to 2 cards, sorry. We'll keep the sharp vision. 
Okay, so we are 8 versus 3, dealing 3 damage. Minus 4, so we deal 3 damage to these guys. Then I will use Inquiring Mind to hit them once more. And uh, we are uh, 5 versus 3, because there is a clue at our location. Minus 1, so we defeat the TikTok men. We don't have to worry about them. And also, I had plenty of uh, evidence to drop the difficulty, but I forgot. But lucky we didn't need that. Okay, so we read the story on the backside. Acting on orders. The final member of the strange group collapses against the wall and slides down onto the ground, dead. You catch your breath and scan the darkened corners of the room for more before you calm yourself and begin to search the bodies. On one of them you find an open letter written on a stationery from Whitecliff's own desk and, it, and in his hand. Uh, gentlemen, concerning the stolen shipment, I have employed private investigators on, of considerable skill to locate it. I assure you that no further efforts will be required to recover the artifacts in total. J. Wycliffe, you can only guess whether this letter was sent to the agent employer or just intercepted by them, but it suggests that Wycliffe was trying to keep them from getting involved in the, in the search. Add this card to the victory display and remember that you retrieved the Wycliffe's letter. So we add that to the victory display. So now we have done four of the five needed. So at least one more. Okay. Uh, last action, we will investigate and I'll use the lock picks to get this clue. So we are uh, 6 versus 2. Minus 3. So we succeed. And that is our turn. No enemies will go to up. Uh, and uh, there is one enemy and uh, we'll have to put a doom on it. Now we go to upkeep, we draw inquiry mind and gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. And counter card for this round is cleaner. Well, I don't want an enemy, so we will use Dr. William T. Mailson. Drop our clue. Draw another one, and we take the dimension of fold, so that discards. So test agility X, where X is the shroud value of your location. If you fail, take one damage and discard the top three cards of your deck. If you fail by two or more, draw its weakness discarded. I think we can just uh, test this. So four versus four. Elder sign. We'll put one evidence here, and uh, we pass. So we'll investigate. I am um, actually no. Uh, I'll just move to the servants' quarters. So servants' quarters. Two shroud, one clue. Investigators at servants' quarters discard cards from their hand as a group with. Total of four skill icons per investigator. Read evidence five under scenario include the evidence in the campaign card. And this is a victory point one location. Okay, well. Hmm. I think I will just investigate here. And investigating six versus two. And it is a cultist, and uh, when a cultist uh, is revealed during a test performed by an investigator, choose one. I will reveal this and take one horror. But uh, it is a minus two, so we succeed. We will get this, but we'll take a horror. That's not that bad at the moment. But that is our turn. 
but we uh, will discard Okay, so we'll discard Inquiry Mind and Sharp Vision to read the Evidence 5. Okay, Evidence 5. It takes you several minutes to treat the valet's injury and rouse him to his senses, taking care to not alert the assassins further. The elderly man looks up at you blarely, but with the motivation of duty. Master James is he. You shake your head curtly, and the valet gives a despairing sigh. The poor man, I should have listened to his warnings, but he had been so erratic these past days. He would shut himself in his room for hours at a time, only emerging to seek some atlas or geographical book, but I never would have imagined that any of that would lead to the valet's voice quavers and he buries his face in his hands. You tell him to stay out of sight until the coast is clear. Remember that you found Whitley's valet. And that is another task, so we could um, resign resign at the moment but let's see there's one two three four five six seven tasks so I think we try to get the master bedroom one but we need more clues for that so <clears throat> we have to figure out something next round so nothing else to do we'll have to put one Duma here but we have a way to get rid of it with persuasion so we'll draw a card Ruined film. Okay, I'll get rid of four evidence. And that is that. And we gain a resource. So, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom. Four of ten encounter card for this round is Archaic Evils. Uh, peril. Revelation, reveal the top three cards of your deck. You must either choose one, draw its weakness revealed and remove its other card from the game, shuffle its revealed card back into your deck, place one doom the current agenda. This effect can cause the current agenda to advance. So we reveal the three cards. And I'll draw the Day of Reckoning. And we remove Gumption and Shed a Light from the game. And uh, we don't have the Elder Sign for the rest of the scenario, but I think we can manage without. Okay. Oh yeah, uh, there should have been an evidence here some, at some point, but I think I forgot. Just place it now. Okay, well, first action, we'll move to the living room. Uh, living room is a choose route one clue location with the victory point. Uh, if you have found a strange ornament, put the set aside private study location. Play forced at the end of the round. If there are fewer than uh, one clue on living room, add one clue to living room. Okay, so we can get more and more clues from here. But this guy engages us. Second action we'll play persuasion. And this guy doesn't have a horror value, so we are testing four versus uh, six versus three. Uh, yeah, six versus three. 
tablet and it is a minus two minus four instead if your location is non Euclidean it is not so we shuffle this guy back into the encounter deck and uh, last action we will investigate six versus Six versus two. Oh yeah, we got one when we got the clue from here to here. And six versus two minus three, we still succeed and we get another. And another evidence onto the Hawkeye folding camera. Yeah, and that is our turn. This location gets an extra clue. Oh yeah, and we can put the private study into play. Might visit that location. Okay, no enemies will go to upkeep. We draw sharp vision and gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Oh yeah, and uh, we discovered a clue, so we can put this under the camera, uh, or Daryl's codec. Okay, so that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, Encounter card is Archaic Evil, so we'll just uh, remove that one, two, three. Deduction, Warped Island, and another copy of Dr. William T. Mason. So those are gone. Okay, well, investigate. Move, move. Or go to the private study. Okay, so investigate. No, we just go here. So first action, move to the private study. Uh, private study is a four shot. Uh, one clue location, non Euclidean, reveal a random chaos token. If you reveal a, a tablet or auto fail token, cancel the effect of the move action. Reveal five random tokens from the chaos bag. Investigators at private study may spend any amount of clues to reveal five additional tokens for every one clue spent. If you reveal uh, less or cursed tokens, reveal another token. If you reveal two tablets and or Elder sign tokens, read evidence, three other scenario, interlude, white cliffs evidence, the campaign guide. Okay, well, unfortunately, our elder sign is stuck there, and I have to actually check. I don't think we have two tablets here. Oh, uh, we have, so we could try that. Okay, uh, I will investigate here using Alt key, Alt key ring, and uh, I'll commit. No, just using the Alt key ring. So we are investigating six versus two. Uh, we'll go six versus zero. versus zero minus two we'll grab this clue and last action we'll do the action so we'll spend uh, three clues and uh, reveal uh, 20 tokens so every token there we find two Tablet, uh, tablet, so we get to read the evidence tree or the um, interlude tree. Okay. Just checking its uh, evidence tree under the scenario interlude. Okay. Evidence tree. 
hidden room appears to be as much a workshop as it is a study. Fragments of carved stone lie scattered throughout the various drawers beside mason's tools and scientific papers. It dawns on you as you run your fingers over one of the stones that space is bending over so slightly around it. Whitecliffs has somehow learned how to carve the stone for this strange property. Equally strangely, much of the room is covered in dust, as if it hadn't been touched in weeks. Why did Whitecliffe abruptly stop after this significant breakthrough? Remember that you searched the secret room. Okay, so now we have done six. So I think the last thing to do is to go get this clue, get back here, get this clue and advance before the round ends. But that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw um, burning the midnight oil and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. 4 of 10 encounter cards. This round is spook. Spawn location with the most clues without any sp another spook with victory axe if possible. Aloof. Clues cannot be discovered from spook's location. If there are no clues on spook's location, it loses aloof, gains hunter and gets plus one fight. So uh, we'll spawn this guy. Over here. And uh, because we can't move that guy, I think we just forget about that victory point one and focus on getting this and resigning. So, so we can just advance. So we'll move here. Uh, we have to test this, so... Um, Non-nuclear, reveal a random chaos token if you reveal a tablet or auto-fail, cancel the move. It is a skull, so we get to move here. We'll investigate, we'll spend one evidence to make it a zero. Tablet is a minus four, we still succeed and uh, get this clue and advance. Best laid plans. Finally, the fog, the fog of deception surrounding the expedition is beginning to lift. With the evidence you've gathered, you make your departure from the manor, uh, sparing one final moment of si silence for the murderer, uh, murdered financier. If the investigators found five or fewer pieces of evidence in Wycliffe's manner resolution 2, if the investigators found all six pieces of evidence in Wycliffe's manner uh, resolution 3. So we only get resolution 2 because we didn't go get this one. But we still got to advance because we have the. Yeah, okay, so we get the resolution 2. Resolution 2 reads You consider yourself both lucky and unlucky that Whitecliffe hid the details of his conspiracy as well as he did. It's been an ordeal for you, to say at least, but had he not done so, the assassins might have erased the evidence before you even set foot in the matter. Uh, through uh, the long hours of searching, you uncovered the key details of the plan that Whitecliffe had hatched to hijack his own expedition. Wycliffe had attempted a dangerous gambit to use the Obanians to keep the stone away from this organization and to use you as a smokescreen. He never intended for you to find the Mucanian artifacts at all, but to be an excuse to keep these men off the trail. Unfortunately for him, they found the stone and murdered him for his interference. His gambit did pay off uh, in a way he could have known as you have solved his mystery and now can accomplish what he could not. Now, now you must find who contro controls these assassins and what they plan to do with the stone. In your Campbellock record, 
The investigators understand the truth. Mark two notice in your camp log. Skip to resolution four. Resolution four. With dawn breaking over Arkham and exhaustion dragging at your body, you find return to your, finally return to your home for some <coughs> well deserved sleep. It has been an abrupt night in all regards, but you can recuperate in the relative safety of day. Rest may not come easy, but it is vital for you to be in peak condition to fight the conspiracy that still looms around you. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory axe value of each card that it display. If any investigator earns three or more experience during this scenario, mark one notice in your camp log. If any investigator earns six or more experience during this scenario, mark one additional notice in your camp log. Proceed to scenario four, crumbling masonry. So let's see, uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we get uh, a total of four notices in our campaign log, but we got six experience, which is a good deal. So one, I'm just double checking two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So we could have had seven, but this damn spook come, came and uh, uh, stopped us from doing that. But it is what it is, but yeah, that was the private lives scenario from the Cyclopean Foundations campaign. So, uh, hope you guys liked this playthrough. I think it went pretty well. So, thanks for watching, and until next time.